Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 19 of Universe Mode. I got a special card for you today, and I'm hoping, because I have a surprise for you guys, and I'm hoping that this works and it's not glitched out, because if it is, I will be upset. But, regardless, let's get into the show. So up first, after Samoa Joe failed to win the gauntlet match last week he now has to find something else to do he has to find other opportunities other chances and that could start here with a match against the united states champion after that ladies and gentlemen is a tag team match the wwe tag team champions kofi kingston and xavier woods they are in action Against the two newest members of the bloodline, Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa. In match number three, Bailey takes on EO Sky one on one. Match number four, it is a qualifiers match. The final slot for money in the bank on the raw side. Either Cody Rhodes wins and he can enter the money in the bank. Well, Roman Reigns does. But either way, ladies and gentlemen, there shouldn't be any interruptions this time around. And in the main event, ladies and gentlemen, Bray Wyatt goes one-on-one -on -one with the WWE Champion, Brian Danielson. Let's not waste any time, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get right into the show. I am your host and commentator, King Chiron. If you like this uh, type of content... Remember to like and subscribe, but either way, let's get into the show. Samoa Joe starting this match needs to find a new avenue, a new... And Samoa Joe's going to start this match off. With clubbing right punches to Big E, not giving Big E any time to even get ready for the match. To even be prepared. But ladies and gentlemen, that being said, the bell has rung. Big E should have been ready. A big boot from Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe letting his more ruthless nature, his more aggressive streak show here. Big E finally fighting back against Samoa Joe. But Joe got to fight out of that maneuver that Big E was going for. Big knee to the gut of Big E. Samoa Joe with a massive chop to the chest. But Big E has a counter with his own. Big E lifts up and slams Samoa Joe down. Biggie gonna lift up Samoa Joe again. Biggie gonna lift up Samoa Joe over his head and spike him down, going for a pin. Samoa Joe able to kick out at one. Biggie now letting up the assault. Samoa Joe started this match with furious attacks. Biggie only countering, coming back, doing some of his own huge power bomb from Big E. Samoa Joe is going to roll through Big E, drop huge elbows on the head. Samoa Joe's got that, got that coquina clutch in mind, all charged up. But Big E on the outside lifts up Samoa Joe, huge squats on the outside, followed by a massive suplex down to the floor. Big E. Throwing Samoa Joe into the LED barricade. The LED post. Big E carrying Joe. Throws Samoa Joe back into the ring. Joe trying to make it to his feet. Big E has Samoa Joe. Huge clubbing blow to the chest. Big E going for the pin here. But Samoa Joe able to kick out even before the count of one. Big E throws Joe towards the ropes. Big E ducks under. Tries to lift up Joe. Massive suplex to Samoa Joe. Belly to belly suplex to Joe. Joe rolls through. 
but is taken down with a massive clothesline. Joe trying to get back to his feet, and Big E hammering the way on the gut of Samoa Joe here. Lifts up Joe, bounces him off one ring, and off the other. Big E lifts up Joe and slams him down again. Big E trying to do whatever it takes to keep Samoa Joe from gaining momentum in this match. Stomp to Joe's ankle. Big E on the top rope going for a high risk maneuver. Takes Joe down with a torpedo shoulder. Going for the pin here. Joe able to power out at two. Big E throwing Joe towards the ropes. Lifts Joe up. Slams him down onto his tailbone. Big E removing the straps. Samoa Joe finally fighting back. Finally getting a counter. Joe lifting up Big E, spikes him down with the finishing maneuver, going for the pin here. Using the ropes as leverage. Referee saw Joe using the ropes as leverage. Big E tosses Joe, and Big E setting Joe up for a comeback, maybe a huge clothesline. Joe misses his attack. Big E lifts him up and slams him down. Tells Joe to come here. Massive spine buster from Big E. Going for the pin. The Samoa Joe able to kick out at two. Staying alive once again. Joe looking at Big E now. Carries him over to the corner. Spikes his head onto the turnbuckle post. Joe going to choke out Big E. Big E with a counter. And another massive clothesline from Big E. U.S. champion going to the top rope, sitting on the top turnbuckle, waiting for Joe to get back to his feet. Big E going off the ropes, takes down Joe, but misses a splash to Joe. Some more Joe throwing Big E back into the ring. Joe climbs in after him. Joe carrying Big E over to the corner. Bounces his head off the turnbuckle again. Setting Big E up for the muscle buster. Nails the muscle buster on Big E going for the pin. As Samoa Joe gets the win over the U.S. champion. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, with that win over the U.S. champion, that puts Samoa Joe in contention for the United States Championship. That makes Samoa Joe number one contender. But up next, ladies and gentlemen, two more members of the New Day in action against two members of the bloodline The following contest is a tag match set for one Ladies and gentlemen, the New Day WWE Tag Team Champions making their way to the ring. The New Day has yet to defend their titles. They won their championships against the Viking Raiders at Backlash. 
what feels like so long ago. Ladies and gentlemen, the New Day has faced the bloodline on multiple occasions, multiple variations, but they've never faced and these two. At a combined weight of 459 pounds, the bloodline! Tama Tonga, Tonga Loa. The two newest members of the Bloodline debuted last week in the gauntlet match against Samoa Joe. Tonga Loa was counted out, but Tama Tonga finished the job by beating Samoa Joe, allowing Roman Reigns to go on and challenge to become a member of the Money in the Bank ladder match. Kofi Kingston and Tonga Tonga going to start this match off. Tonga Tonga stopping Kofi from using any of that high-risk offense. Immediately tags in Tonga low up to setting him up on the ropes. And Tonga Tonga going to go to work instantly. Huge combination from Tonga Tonga. A vicious assault from Tonga Tonga. Huge leg drop across the neck of Kofi Kingston. The Kofi able to get out of the way, get a reversal. Kofi going off the ropes. Huge crossbody to Tama Tonga. Followed by a huge splash to Tama Tonga. And a DDT to Tama Tonga. Going for the pin here. Tong Tama Tonga. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm calling up Tama Tonga. Tonga Loa. <laughs> I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm still learning their names, if I can be completely honest with you. Tonga Loa being thrown against the ropes by Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods with a huge back body drop on Tonga Loa going for the pin. But Tama Tonga there to make the save. Tonga Loa in trouble. Trying to make the hot tag to Tama Tonga. Tama Tonga tags in. And Tama Tonga instantly taking down Xavier. Huge drop kick to the head. Xavier going off the ropes. Hits a huge disaster kick to Tama Tonga. Huge punch to the head. Tama Tonga followed by a kick to the gut. Xavier Woods lifts up Tama Tonga. But Tama Tonga reverses. Stomp to the head of Xavier Woods followed by a drop kick to the head of Xavier Woods Xavier Woods with a kip up here with Tama Tonga getting the better of him Xavier Woods with the reversal fights out of it Xavier Woods carrying Tama Tonga over to the corner bounces his head out the turnbuckle tags in Kofi a double team maneuver coming here Tonga set up for the kick from Kofi and now a huge clothesline from Xavier. Followed by a huge elbow from Kofi. And then Xavier off the middle rope. Now Kofi with a huge knee to the back of Tama Tonga. Going for a pin after that double team assault. Tama Tonga able to kick out at one. Staying alive early. And Tama Tonga re retaliates with a huge clothesline. Takes down Kofi Kingston. Kick to the gut of Kofi. Tama Tonga lifts Kofi up and spikes him with the crazy maneuver. Huge spine buster from Tama Tonga to Kofi Kingston. Kofi has no choice but to attack in Xavier Woods, get a little distance. But Tama Tonga with a clothesline to Xavier. Lifts Xavier Woods up. 
Tomatonga carrying Xavier over to the corner. Xavier able to fight out just before he gets to the corner. Xavier going off the ropes, nails a disaster kick on Tomatonga. Tonga Loa tags in. And Tonga Loa with the cross face locked in on Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods able to break out of it out of the submission maneuver. Kofi Kingston lifting up Tonga Loa. But Tonga Loa reverses into a small package going for a pin here. Xavier reverses. Now Tame reverses. Reversed again. Tonga Loa reverses himself. Kick out after one from Xavier Woods. Tags in Tama Tonga. Xavier Woods taunting to the crowd. Xavier Woods back in the ring. Stopping Tama Tonga from using the ropes. Hangs up Tama Tonga on the ropes. But Tama Tonga with a huge elbow to the head. Going off the ropes. Huge forearm to the head of, Co of Xavier Woods off the ropes. Going for a pin here. Xavier able to kick out at one. Tags in Tonga Loa again. Hot tag made to Kofi Kingston. Kofi now with huge chops and a kick. Followed by another kick to the chest of Tonga Loa going for the pin. Tonga Loa able to kick out at one. Tonga Loa dodges a kick to the back from Kofi Kingston. Lifts Kofi up. Carries him over to the corner. Bounces his head off the turnbuckle. Going for a pin. Kofi able to kick out at two. Tongaloa beating the snot out of Kofi early. Tongaloa has Kofi. Huge headbutt to Kofi Kingston. Tongaloa setting up for a finish, maybe. Massive pile driver to Kofi Kingston. But Kofi able to kick out at two, staying alive. Huge knee to the head of Kofi, followed by another huge knee to the head. Tonga Loa tags in Tama Tonga. Kick to the gut from Tama Tonga, followed by a float DDT. Tama Tonga going for the pin here. And the bloodline finally get a huge victory over the new day. Thanks to the newest members who are now using chairs. Chairs to batter the new day. And with that win, ladies and gentlemen, that means that the bloodline, specifically Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa, are now number one contenders to the WWE Tag Team Championships. But up next, ladies and gentlemen, EO Sky takes on Bailey in a one on one match. EO Sky has Dakota Kai in her corner. I guess that lets you know where Bailey stands when it comes to damage control. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring, representing damage control from Tokyo, Japan. Eo! Ladies and gentlemen, Io Sky, a former NXT Women's Champion, former WWE Women's Champion. Io Sky is an amazing talent, an amazing air raid offense.
Io Sky is one of the toughest competitors you could run into with an offense that is unpredictable and hard to counter. Bailey looks set, looks set and ready for this next match coming up against EO Sky. Damage control has turned their backs on Bailey. But ladies and gentlemen, make no doubt that Bailey is set to take down the very thing she started. And she'll do it alone if she has to. But Bailey, she created damage control. She feels that it's her responsibility to take them down. Locks up with EO Sky, lifts her up. Massive suplex to EO. Bailey throwing EO to the corner. EO reverses, throws Bailey out of the ring, and knocks Bailey right off the apron. EO Sky on the ropes. But misses the crossbody as Bailey was getting back in the ring. Yo, Sky with the huge reversal, huge butterfly suplex to the back of Bailey. Bailey with a counter and a kick to the gut, followed by a combination and the, into a German suplex from Bailey. Stomp on the arm from Bailey. Bailey fired up. Referee at the count of six. Count of seven. Bailey throws EO back in the ring. Bailey going in after her. EO catches Bailey, lifts her up, and spikes her down with the spine buster. Stomp to the leg of Bailey. Bailey with a counter, slamming EO's head into the canvas, kick to the back. Followed by a huge knee drop to the chest. And again, but misses this second time. Eo Sky throwing Bailey to the ropes. Bailey counters. Huge knee to the side of Eo Sky. Bailey going for a pin here. Eo able to kick out at one. Bailey on the assault of Eo Sky's legs takes her legs out. If Bailey can take out her legs, she can take out that high risk offense that. EO Sky is a master of. Stomp to the hand of EO Sky. Bailey carrying EO Sky over to the corner, bounces her head off the turnbuckle. Bailey spiking down EO. Bailey going up to the top rope. EO Sky back to her feet. Bailey goes off the ropes, takes down EO Sky. EO Sky kicked up. Back to her feet, tosses Bailey to the ropes. EO Sky ducks under. Drop kick takes down Bailey. EO quickly going for a pin here. Only gets a count of one. Bailey with a counter. Raking the back of EO Sky. Bailey tossing EO Sky to the corner. Setting EO Sky up. EO Sky with a huge elbow to the head. EO Sky bouncing Bailey's head off the turnbuckle. And again. EO Sky going to attack the leg of Bailey now. EO Sky trying to pick Bailey apart as much as possible. Hangs her up on the ropes. But Bailey with the counter. Bailey driving EO's head into the canvas and Bailey going up to the top rope. Huge flying elbow coming here. And connects. Bailey goes for the pin. EO able to kick out at two, staying alive. 
Bailey setting up for her finishing maneuver. Put this match to bed, but EO Sky counters. EO Sky now. Nailing Bailey, locking in her patented submission maneuver on Bailey. Bailey able to fight out, but the damage has been done. Bailey goes off the ropes, delivers a huge elbow drop to EO Sky's chest. EO Sky has no choice but to roll out of the ring, get to safety. Bailey goes out after her. And Bailey gonna taunt EO Sky here. But Bailey took too long. EO Sky able to counter. Lifts Bailey up and spikes her down onto the can onto the floor. EO Sky now doing a little taunting of her own. Kick to the gut of Bailey. Oh, by a double knee drop to the gut of Bailey. Eo Sky back in the ring. Referee at the count of seven. Count of eight. Bailey's yet to make it back to her feet. Count of nine. Bailey's barely getting up. Eo Sky gets the count out victory. Dakota Kai throwing Eo Sky a, a chair. This isn't going to go well for Bailey, ladies and gentlemen. And ladies and gentlemen, I told you I had a surprise. It's Sasha Banks, ladies and gentlemen. Sasha Banks is back. And she's come to the rescue of her old friend, Bailey. Ladies and gentlemen, with the return of Sasha Banks... Things are now going to get a little more interesting when it comes to Bailey and damage control. But up next, ladies and gentlemen, we have the qualifying match. Cody Rhodes, Roman Reigns. Let's see what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, Cody Rhodes now has a second chance. Not just against Roman Reigns, but to qualify for money in the bank. Last week, Cody Rhodes lost to Seth Rollins. And I decided to give him one final opportunity. But that meant that he would have to go one-on-one -on -one with a man he's only ever beaten once. Technically twice but once in a one-on-one -on -one match. Ladies and gentlemen, Roman Reigns is set 
to do something amazing here. If he can beat Cody Rhodes, Roman Reigns will be one step closer to entering the Money in the Bank ladder match. The last time Roman Reigns was in the Money in the Bank ladder match, he lost to Seth Rollins, ladies and gentlemen. History could repeat itself. Seth Rollins is currently in the Money in the Bank ladder match himself. But Roman Reigns... That is a different Roman Reigns than the one that we have now. The ladies and gentlemen, I feel it is important that I list off the other men currently in the Money in the Bank ladder match. CM Punk, Drew McIntyre, Seth Rollins... And then in this match, we will find out if it will be Roman Reigns or Cody Rhodes. But on the SmackDown side, we have Swerve, Finn Balor, and Santos Escobar. Roman Reigns with a huge shoulder check to Cody Rhodes. Rhodes makes it back to his feet. Roman Reigns with a huge uppercut, huge combination to Cody. Not trying to let Cody Rhodes get into this match. Roman Reigns rolls through. Lifts Cody over with the massive power bomb. Roman Reigns set to deal some huge damage to Cody Rhodes here. Stomp to the arm of Cody. And another stomp to the arm. Roman Reigns battering the head of Cody Rhodes here. Cody is yet to get into this match, ladies and gentlemen. Cody Rhodes going to have to figure something out here. Roman Reigns has Cody up. Cody firing with a reversal. Slips out of the attack. And follows it up with a massive forward close uh, forward suplex. Cody Rhodes tossing Roman Reigns aside. Cody Rhodes throwing Roman Reigns into the corner. And Solo Sokoa removed that turnbuckle pad and it's done damage against Roman. Cody going to do it again. Taking full advantage of Solo Sokoa and his slip up. Solo thought he would be helping Roman by removing that turnbuckle pad. It's only worked against Roman. Roman slips out and trips up Cody. Roman Reigns went for a pin, only got a count of two. Massive punches to the head of Cody Rhodes. Stomp to the gut. Cody Rhodes rolls through. Huge elbows to the head of Roman. Roman going, getting pinned here by Cody. Only a count of two from Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes throwing Roman Reigns to the ropes. Ducks under. Hops over. But misses that. And Roman going to lock in a guillotine on Cody here. Cody Rhodes able to slip out and fight out of the guillotine from Roman. And Roman nails Cody with a spear, a massive spear to the gut of Cody Rhodes. But Cody able to power out of that massive spear. Roman Reigns with a massive... Elbows to the back of Cody. Roman lifting up Cody. Nails him. With that huge suplex. Roman Reigns now in firm control after the spear. Cody Rhodes busted open here. Roman continuing to assault the now bleeding head of Cody Rhodes. Roman now taunting Cody. Roman can smell victory closing in for him. Huge. Shot to the head of Cody Rhodes. Roman Reigns more focused on battering Cody Rhodes than anything else. Cody lifted up. Lifted over Roman's shoulder, but Cody with the reversal drops Roman Reigns. Massive clothesline from Cody Rhodes to Roman. And Cody... 
Charged up, slams Roman Reigns down. Roman getting back to his feet, kicked down again. Roman rolling over the ropes. Climbs up to the outside on the apron. He thinks he'll keep him safe. But Cody rolls with a cutter off the ropes, drops Roman Reigns. Cody goes outside, but runs right into Roman Reigns. He was waiting for him. Lifts him up. Huge power bomb to the back. And a second one. Roman gearing up for a third. And Cody goes down. Huge knee to the side of the head of Cody Rhodes here. Roman spiking Cody's ankle onto the ground. Roman Reigns not satisfied with taking that count out win. Throws Cody back into the ring. Roman going up to the top rope. Waiting for Cody. Cody gets to Roman first. Running Bulldog to Roman Reigns. Cody Rhodes trying to take control of this match again. Slap to the face of Roman Reigns. Huge punch to the head. Cody going off the ropes. Nails a disaster kick on Roman. Roman back to his feet. Kick to the gut. Kick to the head. Punch to the back. Cody setting up for a figure four leg lock here on Roman. Roman Reigns locked in the figure four. Roman going to reverse it. Roman reversed the figure four. Was able to create a little distance. Punch to the gut of Cody. Ball by a kick to the gut. Roman Reigns going for a maneuver. Cody Rhodes fighting out of it. Cody Rhodes goes under. Nails the crossroads on Roman Reigns. Going for the pin. Roman kicking out at two. Staying alive. Cody Rhodes... Off that cross, Rhodes busted Roman open. Cody Rhodes going to the top rope, telling Roman to get back to his feet. Cody Rhodes nails a huge flying cross body on Roman. But Roman Reigns able to kick out at two once again. Roman thrown outside the ring now by Cody Rhodes, thrown down in front of the other bloodline members and the wise man Paul Heyman so Sokoa distracting Cody giving Roman Reigns time to catch his breath and get back up so Sokoa finally gets down off the apron and Roman Reigns back to his feet but Cody Rose nails a massive clothesline to Roman Roman getting back to his feet once again. Looked like Cody was going for a maneuver, but Roman blocks it. Sets up and spikes Cody into the corner. Stomp to the arm and out of the chest. Roman Reigns going to set up for a secondary spear. A second spear could put this match to bed. And Roman nails the second spear on Cody going for the pin. Roman Reigns qualifies for money in the bank. Here is your winner, Roman Reigns. Ladies and gentlemen, it was a close match, a fierce contest. Both men shed blood to qualify for money in the bank but in the end a second spear from Roman Reigns was enough to put the match to bed better luck next time Cody better luck next time but up next ladies and gentlemen we have the main event the final match of the night Bray Wyatt takes on Brian Danielson Bray Wyatt made his return after being gone, after being damn near buried at Backlash. Speaking of the man who buried him, it's AJ Styles. After Bray's attack on AJ last week.
Bray Wyatt returned and took his frustrations out on AJ last week. Meanwhile, Brian Danielson, the bell is rung. And Bray Wyatt with a massive clothesline to Brian Danielson, followed by a massive drop kick. Brian Danielson on the assault of Bray Wyatt. Huge kick to the side of the head of Bray. Bray Wyatt is not in good shape. Bray Wyatt was attacked by AJ Styles before this match could begin. Bray Wyatt thrown back into the ring by the WWE Champion. Bray Wyatt lifting up Brian Danielson, carries him over to the ropes, bounces his head off the top rope, attacking the leg. Bray going to assault the leg again of Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt attacking the leg again and again, trying to take Brian Danielson's legs out of this match. Bray Wyatt going to continue the assault on the leg of Brian Danielson. Trying to remove his legs from being of consequence here. Stomp to the leg once more. But Danielson kicking Bray Wyatt away. Followed by a massive kick to the head. Wyatt thrown to the ropes. Huge knee to the gut of Bray Wyatt. Trips Bray Wyatt up. Danielson with a huge elbow to the head of Bray Wyatt, but Bray getting back to his feet. Danielson going to grab Bray and roll him through. And again, and locks in a crossface on Bray. The crossface maneuver might not put Bray away, but it will cause damage to that head and neck. Ryan Danielson telling Bray to get back to his feet. Danielson looking for a, a through the ropes dive takes out Bray knee to the head of Bray Wyatt Bray Wyatt arm being placed on the floor Daniel Bryan gonna stomp on the arm here throws Bray into the steel steps ladies and gentlemen Bryan Danielson may be the WWE champion he may be a fan favorite but he is a vicious vicious competitor you can never take your mind off of that simple fact Brian Danielson through the ropes takes out Bray once again but misses the knee stomp to the head and Brian drop kicked by Bray Danielson throwing Bray Wyatt down near the LED barricade Bray Wyatt back to his feet now Wyatt is tired. He's hurt after the assault from AJ Styles. How could he not be followed by a match with the WWE Champion? Thrown to the corner. Huge drop kick to Bray. And Bray's busted open. And Danielson does another one. Danielson going for a huge pin here on Bray Wyatt. But Bray able to kick out at one. Danielson going to attack the legs of Bray here. Huge stomp from Bryan, followed by another one to Bray. Ryan Danielson climbing up to the top rope. It was going to be difficult for Bray to beat Bryan on a good night, but on a night after being assaulted, how could Bray stand a chance? Bray trying here. Huge chop to the chest of the champion. Daniels blocks a punch, delivers a chop of his own, blocks another punch and another chop. Bray with a huge right. Bray blocking a punch, throwing a punch of his own. Chop to Wyatt, followed by a kick to the head. Danielson pulling Bray Wyatt out of the corner, away from the ropes, looking to lock in. A signature maneuver here on Bray Wyatt. Wyatt in trouble. Wyatt trying to stay alive, but the maneuver did enough damage. 
Huge elbow to the right eye that is currently bleeding on Bray Wyatt. Danielson running towards Wyatt. Clotheslines Bray out of the ring. Wyatt back to his feet. Going to climb back into the ropes quickly. Huge elbow to the back. Throws Bray to the ropes. But misses the double knees. Bray Wyatt has his opportunity. He has a chance to get back into this match here. Let's Brian Danielson up. And drops him head first onto the top turnbuckle. Bray lifting up Brian Danielson. Carries him over to the other corner. Bounces his head off that turnbuckle. And Bray just going to fling the WWE Champion across the ring. Wyatt tossing Brian Danielson out of the ring. Huge punch to the head followed by a second one. Going to drag Brian Danielson into the ring followed by a massive clubbing blow to the back. And Bray Wyatt setting up. I think for Sister Abigail. Here comes the spider walk. Walking towards his downed opponent. But Brian Danielson able to slip out of Sister Abigail. Bray Wyatt catches Brian before Brian can do any damage. Bounces his head off the turnbuckle. Huge punch to the head. And Bray Wyatt going to continue to assault the arm here. He may not have gotten Sister Abigail off, but Bray Wyatt has yet to give up. He's yet to stop fighting, going for a pin here on the champion. Brian Danielson survives, kicking out at two. Wyatt here setting up for that. Danielson able to reverse the finish of the match. Reverse the mandible claw and Danielson clotheslining Bray Wyatt out of the ring. Wyatt barely getting back to his feet. Danielson looking for another dive in this match. This be the third one. Takes down Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt getting back to his feet. Kick from Brian Danielson. Huge kick to the side of the head of Bray Wyatt. And Danielson going to lock in. The LaBelle lock outside the ring on Bray Wyatt. But Wyatt breaks free. LaBelle lock did the damage on the outside of the ring. Danielson thrown down near the barricade. Bray Wyatt getting back in the ring. Referee. Count of five. WWE champion is still down. WWE Champion back to his feet. Rolls back into the ring. Bray Wyatt takes advantage. Huge headbutt to the champion. Stomp on the arm. Followed by another stomp to the arm. Clubbing blows to the head of Brian Danielson. And Bray with a big boot. Kicking the head of the champion. Stomping on the fingers of the WWE Champion Bray Wyatt. He may have gotten hurt, but he hasn't given up. Huge headbutt from Bray Wyatt. Huge kick to the leg of Brian Danielson. He rolls Danielson through. Gonna assault the legs again. Danielson's legs are now hurt. And Bray going to continue to assault them. But Brian Danielson kicking Bray away. Stomp to Bray Wyatt. Danielson focusing on that arm. Focusing on that hand of Bray Wyatt. Stomp on the fingers. Danielson moving Bray over. Bray getting back to his feet. And he locks in the mandible claw on Brian Danielson. Danielson with the mandible claw locked in, but Danielson gonna fight out, stays alive. 
Bray Wyatt surprised Danielson with the mandible claw. He misses the double knees for a second time. But not the third time. Nails Bray Wyatt with the double knees. And the WWE Champion victorious over Bray Wyatt. But ladies and gentlemen, we cannot take away that performance. That fighting spirit from Bray. It looks like Bray Wyatt's got a little more fight left in him. Bray Wyatt going out to take revenge on the man who probably caused Bray this match with that assault early on. If Bray Wyatt had the 100% throughout this entire match, this match could have gone completely different. And here these two men are throwing blows. AJ gonna break free from security and these two men throwing more punches. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how the episode comes to an end. Bray Wyatt may have lost to Brian Danielson, but ladies and gentlemen, Bray Wyatt was attacked before the match. But after the match, Bray Wyatt went out and got him a little revenge on AJ Styles. Th two men throwing blows at one another but ladies and gentlemen that's going to be it for this episode of universe mode i want to thank you ladies and gentlemen for coming to hang out and watching the show with me until next time ladies and gentlemen i have been your host the king chiron and your commentator take care and have a beautiful beautiful day